Yesterday, I asked y'all what is the biggest conspiracy in NBA history, and somebody's username that I cannot pronounce said, what if Kobe actually flinched at Matt Barnes? Yo, uh, Kobe Savage 11 went from right here to about right there after that play. I got a big announcement talking about some of these shirts at the end of the video, so just stay tuned and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it, all right? I have been avoiding this quiz since April 23rd, 2017. Because when people send me quizzes that I think look interesting, I put them all in the folder so I never run out. But this one, I, I just been clicking over it every time. Just because it looks so intimidating. And your boy is known as the quiz guy here on YouTube. I can't be exposed by a quiz. But today's the day. Today's the day I got the new shirt on. I feel, I'm feeling good, alright? I'm feeling good. So let's tackle this one. Can you pick the NBA player by their resume? Sounds very simple. But I guarantee you it will not be. Because I don't know the, the accomplishments of every NBA player. I don't. I just don't. Even if they're legends, I can't tell you how many all-star games, you know, Jerry West was in. I don't know. But hey, 32 questions. It's, today's the day. If I, if I get a failing grade, you will still see this video. If I get 100, you will definitely see this video. All right, all right let's get into it. Um, starting off with this one. Two-time NBA champion. Two time, wait, all-time blocks leader. Boom. That's just the, the goal is to see one thing that you makes that person unique. You feel what I'm saying? It said all time block leader. There's only one all time block leader. You, you get what I'm saying? All right. One time NBA MVP, four time scoring champion, three time steals leader, two time all star game MVP. Okay, steal leader. Let's go with that one. Who on this list is known, maybe not known for their defense, but can get a steal? Because steals don't equal great defense. Remember that. Remember that. Gary Payton. But Gary Payton won a championship. I didn't say this. This resume does not say championship. Allen Iverson, yo, Allen Iverson's hands were quick. They were quick. One MVP, no championships. Allen Iverson, let's get it. Only player to win Finals MVP despite losing that was Jerry West. Oh, I said earlier, I don't know how many All Star games Jerry West has been in. He's been in fourteen, I guess. Jerry West. Two-time NBA, okay, wait, wait. First player to win an All-Star Game MVP, NBA MVP, and Finals MVP in the same season. Is that Willis Reed? I think that's Willis Reed. Booyah. Four-time NBA champion, three, uh, four-time MVP, four, three-time MV. I'm reading too fast. Four-time NBA MVP, three-time NBA champion. That's LeBron's resume. LeBron, MJ, Kobe, those are the three players I cannot get wrong. Because I know y'all will fry me in the comment section. I know y'all will, but I know that one is LBJ. Two-time NBA MVP. One-time NBA champion. Four-time. Yeah, we're going to skip that one. We're going to skip that one. That, that one's, there's nothing unique about this resume that makes me think, oh, it's this player. So we're going to skip it. First player to average triple-double. That's unique. That's the big O. Led NBA assists. Eight years in a row. Okay, okay. Let's look at this. Who on this list is known for their passing ability? John Stockton. But I don't think it's John Stockton. Because it says six NBA champions. John Stockton didn't win no championship. <laughs> MJ prevented him from winning everything. There's no other like point guards on this resume on this on this list except for Bob Cousy. And Bob Cousy did win championships. So let's go Bob Cousy. Booyah, baby. So you got to use the process of elimination like you taking an exam in, 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 at school, right? Member of the Dream Team, 10 time. Oh, there, there is the John Stockton one. Both leading in, in assists and steals. That's John Stockton. Five-time NBA champion. Two-time NBA Finals MVP. One-time NBA MVP. Five-time champion. Five-time champion. That... Is that Tim Duncan? That's Tim Duncan. That was Kobe. That was Kobe. I knew it was either Kobe or Tim Duncan. And I guarantee you once we're in with this quiz, that was Kobe. I'm, I'm waiting for the comments. I know they're going to be there. Whatever. Kobe stands are crazy, all right? If you're a Kobe stand, you're crazy. Three-time NBA MVP, one-time NBA champion, one-time finals MVP. Nothing about that says unique. We're going to skip it. Five-time NBA MVP, six-time champion, six-time finals MVP. That one is the GOAT. Michael Jordan. There we go. Two times six men of the year. Okay. On his list, we got nothing but NBA legends except for there grows. He's not an NBA legend. But what NBA legend won two six men of the year awards? That would be Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale, baby. Um, most three pointers in NBA history, Ray Allen. 
all-time lead scoring NBA history, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, three-time, 13-time All-Star, one-time Finals MVP, eight-time NBA champion. So we're looking for a guy that was not the number one option on his team. He won eight championships, only won one Finals MVP. So we're talking about like Bill Russell dudes, not not actually Bill Russell, but people that played with Bill Russell that were also good. And John Havlicek may be that dude. And he is that dude. Young player to win MVP. That's Derrick Rose. One NBA MVP as a rookie. That's Wes. Go, go back and look at all my videos that I mentioned Wes. I never mentioned the last name because I cannot pronounce it. Like my mouth does not work that way. I cannot pronounce his last name. So we always just call him Wes. All right. Um, 15 for 16 so far. Two-time NBA MVP. Five-time NBA champion. Five-time NBA champion. Three-time finals MVP. Skipping it. That sounds kind of Tim Duncan-ish, but I think Tim Duncan only won one MVP, so we're going to skip it. Seven-time NBA champion. Most of any non-Celtic. That's Big Shot Bob. Right? Big Shot Bob. That's his nickname. That is his nickname because Robert Bob. Okay. Um, Two-time NBA champion. One-time finals MVP. 12-time All-Star. Two-time. Two-time champion. Two-time champion. Okay, let's let's run with that. Two-time champion. Uh, skip. That one is Gary Payton. That's Gary Payton. One NBA champion with the Miami Heat. One defensive player of the year award. That's Gary Payton. Second all-time scorer. That is Karl Malone. You know, you mentioned. You see, they don't say NBA champion because you know Michael Jordan did that too. Three-time NBA champion. Three-time NBA MVP. Two-time Finals MVP, three championships, two MVP. Uh, skip it. Oh, it's getting to that point. I, I'm gonna have to skip everything. Elected Hall of Fame as well for playing the coach. That's Big Bill. Eight-time Defensive Player of the Year, six-time champion, but but no. That's Scotty. That's Scotty's resume. Okay, that's Scotty. One, two ABA championships and three NBA ABA MVPs. That's either Moses Malone. Or Julius Irvin, both of them played in the ABA. But Moses Malone has like three MVPs, so J uh, Julius Irvin. Five-time NBA champion. Only player to win Finals MVP as a rookie. That's Magic Johnson. Namesake of the NBA Finals. Oh, 11 NBA champions. Big Bill Russell, baby. Appeared in eight NBA Finals, but never won one, yo. Y'all talking about LeBron's record. Elgin Baylor's record is 0-8. That's, ugh. He was going against better teams usually, though. Four-time NBA champion, three-time NBA Finals MVP, one-time NBA, two-time scoring champion. Nope. Okay, um, we're at the point where we're just like, I don't know what's going on no more. Two-time NBA MVP. Where's the Shaq one? I'm looking for Shaq. All right, we're going to skip through until I see Shaq. Four-time, yes, four-time champion. Three-time Finals MVP, that's Shaq. There we go. All right, let's see what else. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan has five rings. Looking for something that says five NBA championships. But I don't think he's won two MVPs. All right, we're going to go with it. He did? Whoa, whoa. In my sleep, I know Tim Duncan. In my eyes, Tim Duncan is the best power forward of all time. But I don't remember him winning two MVPs. I thought him and Dirk both had one. All right, okay. I know we got the Kobe one wrong because I picked Tim Duncan for the Kobe one. Larry Bird has three MVPs. Let's look for some, three MVPs, three NBA champions. Anything else says three MVPs. This said three MVPs, but he did win more than one championship. So let's go with this one. Is Larry Bird? Yeah, we go. Okay. Moses Malone won four MVPs or three MVPs. Three MVPs. Let's get it. Okay, yo, we got this. Twelve-time All Star, two time. Two-time champion. Two-time champion. Kobe's more than a two-time. It's not Kobe. We, we already know it's not Kobe because we got the Kobe one wrong. So that's Isaiah Thomas. And then this one has to be Bob Pettit. 96. The boy just dropped the A on a quiz that he had been avoiding for months. Shout out to, to me and whoever sent me this. Again, it's been months since I... Shout out to you. So, so shirt time. We got this one that I've been rocking in this video. Fourth quarter with the crown over. Shout out to Trenton for design. And then this one, King. And then this is the fourth quarter just started and the other three quarters are over. Again, shout out to Trenton. I'm about to do a giveaway. 
you guys have supported me so much over the past couple years i think it's time for me to try to give back to as many people as i can I, obviously i can't give a shirt to all 200,000 of y'all because i did the math that would cost me four million dollars I don't, I don't have that, all right? So we're gonna be doing a small giveaway and depending on how many people enter, I'll make it bigger and bigger. Right now, we're looking at six winners, okay? <laughs> I, I'm trying, all right? I know six is not a lot, but I'm trying. I mean, okay. So there's two different ways to enter so you got double the chances of winning. One is through Twitter and one is through Instagram. There will be a tweet in the description and probably on screen right now that literally tells you just favorite this tweet or like it, whatever to be entered i don't need no retweets you just have to be following me and you have to favor the tweet and the same thing with instagram you just have to be following me on instagram you have to just like the post that's literally it and i'll be drawing a name in seven days from now whatever the date is uh next thursday i'll be drawing days live on like instagram or something so people won't think i'm like cheating or nothing you feel me so thank y'all so much for supporting me thank y'all for watching the video for tomorrow's shout out let me know who's the biggest draft steal of all time all right thank y'all so much for watching peace